Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kiwi Lads channel. In this video, I have got round six, match two of my custom Super Rugby Aotearoa 2021 competition. This match is going to be between the Blues and the Hurricanes at Eden Park, and it should be a very close one, I have a feeling. But if you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. But yeah, two strong lineups. I have a feeling that both of these teams have the potential to be in that top two for going into that Super Rugby Aotearoa final. But nonetheless, the Blues at the moment are on a tier. They are sitting on 15 points, and they are in first. And then the Hurricanes are sitting on 11. They are in third at the moment. So with a win for the Hurricanes here, possibly they could be looking at sitting on the same points as the Blues. Possibly with a bonus point, even one more. I've said possibly too many times throughout this intro, but nonetheless, we are very close to getting into this match. I will be the Hurricanes for the first half, and then the Blues for the second. And we will have to wait and see how this one goes. But it is going to be Jackson Garden Bishop kicking off for the Hurricanes for this first half. But the Blues in their last match, they were able to score 63 points, which is a competition high. And if they continue that form, we are going to be in quite a bit of trouble. I've already missed the tackle, but Fafita's ripped the ball away. It's gone to Garden Bishop, who's thrown it to no one. And it is in Perifeta or Rico Ioani, I believe that one was. But five, Fafita's ripped it away again. Jamie Booth goes to Garefi, goes to Lomax. One more to Garden Bishop. Out to Wes Houston on the wing. He's going for the corner, and Wes Houston has scored the try. Within two minutes, the Hurricanes have struck first in this match at Eden Park. And it was that man, Wes Houston, who was able to do it. And that is an interesting start. I wasn't expecting that. I thought that the Blues were going to be able to put up a little bit more of a fight early in this match. But maybe we just got a little bit lucky. They were a little bit slow to the breakdown there, the Blues. And that is something that they haven't been throughout this whole competition. They are always the first team to that breakdown. Sometimes they even commit three men and just rip the ball away from you straight away. But nonetheless, good try for Wes Houston. And now it is going to be Jackson Garden Bishop with this kick. Wind is straight onto him here, Jackson Garden Bishop. Important kick, and I think I might have missed that one. Oh, yes, I have. Unfortunately, I have started this match the same as I started the match yesterday as well. I think I missed the first kick. If I'm not wrong, I know I missed a kick anyway. But nonetheless, the score is now 5-0 to the Hurricanes and those could be a costly two points because of how many tries the Blues have been able to get in the past. You know, you can't be missing too many kicks against them but nonetheless they have gone short. That's going to be, oh it's a Kiriuani's ball. It is Mark Talia who is tackled by Artie Savio who's back to his feet, has ripped the ball away. He's tried to go on the inside. It's gone to a Terry Black who has been tackled by Scrafton and he is injured now a Terry Black. And that is a big hit to the Blues lineup. He has been a little bit of their playmaker in the past few matches, a Terry Black, and it is now going to be Harry Plummer who is replacing him, who is still a good player though. He had a good minor 10 cup for Auckland, Harry Plummer, so hopefully he will be able to carry that form over onto the Super Rugby RTR 2021. But it is going to be Jonathan Ruru now with the scrum feet. Hopefully we will be able to win it against the feet, but it might be a little bit tough against the Blues. I feel like we need a one or two perfect pushes there. It is going to be Jonathan Ruru now who has gone to the blind side. He has been hit hard by, I believe it was Reed Princep, and I've got it a little bit too clicky. And it is going to be a penalty against Reed Princep for hands in the ruck. And I would say at this stage... The Blues will more than likely take the three here. Feta. Yes, they have it. It's going to be Stephen Perifeta who has got this kick. And I don't normally give away penalties. So that is a little bit unfortunate. But nonetheless, if they do get this one here, the Blues, which I have a feeling they will be able to. Yes, they have. And now all of a sudden the score is three to the Blues, five to the Hurricanes. So it is just that little bit closer. I think either way we're going to need four or five tries throughout this first half as the Hurricanes if we want any chance of being able to hang on in the second half. Or have it, them hang on, should I say. I will be the Blues for the second half. But I do like a challenge, so hopefully we will be able to get about four or five tries. That is a good tackle, though, from Laomape Princip. Trying to rip the ball away, not giving away the penalty this time, but not getting the ball either. It has been fired wide to Mark Talia. Good tackle on him by Karefi. It's going to be Jonathan Ruru now, who is going to fire it back to Hoskins. The Tudu was a little bit isolated, and is that going to be our ball? Not quite. Princip's trying hard to get that ball. But just hasn't quite been able to. Pavali was facing backwards, which is dangerous. Karefi trying to rip it away, but not able to. Jamie Booth tackles his opposite number, and Princep helps him out. They are getting forced further and further back, the Blues, but they seem to be one of those teams that love to run it out from their own 22. But Karefi has gotten that ball back. Armstrong goes to Garden Bishop. He's close to the line, and he has scored for the Hurricanes. Jackson Garden Bishop. It's done very well there, and now, after nine minutes, the Hurricanes have got ten points on the board. Was originally stolen in the breakdown after Tuanaki Afi passed it. 
to Tawanga Fassi. It was Karefi who was in there straight away. Rips the ball away. Goes to Armstrong. Who goes one more to Jackson Garden Bashaboos. Tackled over the line by Harry Plummer. So now it has resulted in seven points, hopefully, if Jackson Garden Bashup can get this one straight down the middle. And that one is going down the middle from Jackson Garden Bashup. So now the score in this match is 12 to the Hurricanes, 3 to the Blues. And only two teams have been able to win a game at home, those teams being the Chiefs and also the Blues. So if anyone can do it, it is the Blues in this matchup. But the more tries we score and the more points we score early on, the better off we are in the second half. Oh, that's a good tackle on Princep by Mark Talia. And it was probably who rips it away. Akira Ioani's breaking tackles. Jonathan Ruru is on the ground. And we have one and not releasing penalty. Now hopefully my line out will be able to go all right here. But of course first I have to find touch. But my line outs lately just haven't been the best. But I am hoping, tell you what, that's a lot of space. Do I get greedy? No, I think I've just got to... Or I'll just kick it out. I don't think I want to try and risk it too much there. And, it's and it is a good kick from Jackson Garden Bashup. It's now Dane Coles with this throw. Oh, that one's on their side though for the Blues. So unfortunately just giving it straight back to them. And that is not what we like to see here. My lineouts lately have been pretty poor overall. And I would say Ruru will be kicking this one in behind. No, he hasn't. But I was running backwards to try and cover it. Good tackle from Karefi there on Harry Plummer. We had three men in that ruck, but it just wasn't quite enough to get the ball. And now it is Jonathan Ruru who's gone to Tui Pelotu, who has been hit hard by James Armstrong. Lomax rips the ball away. And now it is Lel Mapa goes out to Vincenzo. One more to Julian Savi. He's out on the wing by himself, and he has tried to do the step. A great low tackle there from Pira Feta who has been slotting into that number 15 role quite nicely. Of course, the Blues don't have Bowden Barrett this year, but they have still got Pera Feta, and unfortunately, I messed that up badly. Garden Bashup almost could have made it to the line, but Armstrong has got that ball. He's offloaded it, but somehow that's gone into the hands of the Blues player. Lomax has got it back now. La Mapa goes to Vincar, so one more to Wes Susan, who is going to have enough base, and he's going to score the try now for the Hurricanes. And tell you what, that was a bit of back-and-forth rugby there between these two sides, but in the end, the Hurricanes were able to get the try. It was Wes Houston who got it as well. And he has done a very good job there. Rico Ioani originally stealing this ball, but then Lomax back to his feet, facing backwards, goes to Lau Mape, goes to Vince Asso, goes to Wes Houston. And then from there, he was able to get to the try line. It is Jackson Garnon Basham with another kick here. Hopefully he will be able to get it. That one looks like it is going down the middle. So after 17 minutes now, the score is 19 to the Hurricanes, 3 to the Blues. So the Hurricanes are starting to run away with it a little bit. How many tries have we got so far? I believe it is three. So if we can get two more, I think that we would almost be in a winning position for the Hurricanes going into the second half. Any more than three would be an absolute bonus. But we have seen in the past that the Blues can score up to seven tries, I believe is their record, in one half. But Lau Mape now going to the right. He has gone out to Vince So Look at the gap there. Is he going to get caught by Caleb Clark? I don't think he is. And because of it now, it is going to be another try to the Hurricanes. What a try it was for Vince So there. And all of a sudden, only two more tries are needed now before we almost have the winners, the Hurricanes. They are doing extremely well here. The Blues just look half asleep, unfortunately, for them at times. Lau Mape goes to Vince Arso. He was outnumbered there, Caleb Clark. He had two men to mark, so he chose the wrong one, unfortunately, and Vince Arso was able to run round him and score the try. Jackson Garnon Bashup with another kick now. Straight out in front, and at the moment, the clock seems to be going extremely slow. Because we are now sitting on 26 points after 19 minutes. We've still got 21 minutes of this half. Can the Hurricanes score upwards of 8 tries in this first half? The most out of any team in this Super Rugby Aotearoa 2021 competition. But the Blues are under pressure. So at the moment they have got to make the decisions of what they can do to fix this. Because of the fact that they have already lost to Terry Black. Which was a big hit for them. But Parsons looks like he may have won his team that ball. Yes he has. It's done very well. Jonathan Ruru now goes out to Tui Pelotu, who is tackled by Jamie Booth. Kareffi in that ruck very quickly, but not able to get the ball. Because the one way that the Blues can stop us from getting too much momentum is scoring themselves. And that was a good tackle from Marty Savi. He didn't go out there. Armstrong trying to rip it away, not able to. Now it is Jonathan Ruru who goes to Tui Pelotu, who's breaking tackles for fun in this match so far. And the Blues have still got the ball. Oh, that's a good offload. Pavali getting driven backwards by Vince Arso. And it was Vi Fafita trying to rip it away. Tuanga fussy round the side, breaks the tackle, and now all of a sudden they've got a bit of a gap. 
Good tackle there from Geordie Barrett driving him backwards. But the Blues look like they are very keen to score a try in this first half. Oh, that's a good little run from Tui Paloto, I believe it was. But Dane Cole steals it back, but it's gone straight into the hands of luckily Princep, who has somehow found Julian Savia as well. Oh, it was very impressive for the Hurricanes with the fact that they were able to kick that ball. Jamie Booth has kicked that one downfield. They are under a little bit of pressure now. The Blues, Perifeta, what is he going to do with this one? Is he going to kick it back? No, he's going to try and run it out. And he has been tackled by Jamie Booth, who wasn't able to get the ball. Jonathan Ruru now goes to Tuanuki Afi with a good run, who has been tackled by Jamie Booth as well. Jonathan Ruru around the side of the ruck goes out to Harry Plummer, who has tackled twice by Karefi. The post is in the way, but Karefi has got that ball. He has tried to find the offload, and unfortunately it just hasn't quite been working out for the Hurricanes, and all of a sudden the Blues look like they have woken up, which means we will have to be playing our best rugby if we do want to score a few tries against them. It is Jamie Booth who goes out to Lau Mape. Wes Hoosen gets it on the bounce, but I thought that we had a winger in the right position there. Feet around the side goes to Princep, goes to Vincasa. One more out to Garden Bishop, drawing pass out to Julian Savio. Now he's got a lot of space. He is going to step on the inside, but he has been tackled by Perifeta. Kiriwani getting in that ruck very early, but not early enough. It is Lau Mape now who fires it back to Wes Hoosen. He's got plenty of base. Has he got enough to beat Harry Plummer? I think he does, Wes Hoosen. And he is going to score his second of the match for the Hurricanes. It did take us about 10 minutes there to be able to break back through. The Blues look dangerous on attack. But in the end, Wes Hoosen was able to find a gap and he was able to score his second. It was Jamie Booth who went to James Armstrong. One more out to Lau Mape. Drawing pass out to Wes Hoosen. Just too quick for Harry Plummer, unfortunately for him. And Wes Hoosen has scored once again in this match. And he might be a key in this situation. If he can score one more, he might get his team the win. Jackson Garnham Basham now with this important kick. And that one should be going over once again from Jackson Garnham Basham. Not going too bad off the boot today. Has had four from five so far. And the score now is 33-3, to and the Hurricanes are in the lead. It is now Stephen Perifeta once again who is kicking this one off for the Blues. And you have to think, what difference would this, or how different would this game have been if they did have a Terry Black still out there? We have kept that ball now. It is going to be Jamie Booth around the side of the ruck. Goes to Lomax. One more to Geordie Barrett. And we're in space once again. He is going to try and fire it wide to Julian Savia, who was ankle tap there. And Pavali rips the ball away. And now it's Mark Delia, who's got a bit of space. He has shunted off Jamie Booth. He shunted off a couple more as well. But then Scrafton finishes the job. It is now Jonathan Ruru around the side of the ruck. Goes to Dalton Pavali. He's close to the touchline. And he has been driven into touch by Julian Savia. Right, we haven't had a line out in a long time. Hopefully... I can get this one right. That one doesn't look too bad there. Five for Fita should be able to win this one, hopefully. No, Robinson has stolen it. And now it is Jonathan Ruru who goes to Harry Plummer. One more to Perifeta. Offloads to Rico Ioane. He's breaking through about five tackles in a row there. Rico Ioane. But Lomax has been able to rip the ball away. Armstrong goes to Coles if we get this out wide. And Wes Hoosen can fend off Caleb Clark there. Oh, good tackle there from Jonathan Ruru, though. Driving him towards the touchline. They don't have a fullback at the moment, the Blues. So I am going to be kicking this one in behind as Jamie Booth. He is going to be chasing hard. Oh, Artie Savia is almost winning that foot race in this situation. Can he get this ball here? Artie Savia has not quite been able to pick it up. And it was Rico Ioani who was able to get it. And that was very lucky for the Blues. And now it is back to Peter Feta. No, DJ Fayani, sorry. And I didn't line that one up at all well. And because of it, now they have kicked it back down the field. It is Lau Mape now, who is running sideways. Goes to Julian Savi, who's tackled by Peter Feta. And it was almost a Kira Ioani's ball, who hasn't actually tried to contest in this match so far, which is an interesting choice. Garden Basham with the fend on Jonathan Ruru, but we weren't quite able to get round them there. We are sitting at 37 minutes. If we can get one more try, I would say we will be close to winning this game as the Hurricanes. Oh, Wes Hoosen hit hard in the tackle, though. Well, I believe it was Rico Ioani. James Armstrong now goes to Dane Coles. One more to Lau Mape. Draw and pass out to Vince Asso. Has he got the speed? No, he hasn't. And he has been tackled by Jonathan Ruru there. We're up to 38 minutes. Adi Savi around the side of the ruck. Goes to Karefi who tries to step offloads to Lau Mape. And that's almost going to be the Blues ball, is it? No, they haven't quite been able to get it once again. And that is normally something that the Blues do for fun is stealing that ball on the breakdown. But they haven't been able to get it going today. And now it is going to be Julian Savia. And it is going to be a sixth try for the Hurricanes. Julian Savia able to score that one for them. 
and that could have been the try that wins them the game. Jamie Booth went wider to Scrafton. One more to guard and bash up. Good wide ball to Julian Savia. Peter Feta just got a little bit off guard. And because of it, we were able to score the try. And that was the bus who was able to run to the try line there. And possibly secure his team the win. Jackson Garner Bishop now with this kick. And that is the halftime siren as well. And that one should be going over from Jackson Garner Bishop. Yes, it is. And now the score going into halftime is going to be 40 to the Hurricanes. 3 to the Blues. So if the Blues want to win this one, they are going to have to get a lot of points in the second half. But I am going to switch to them now. And it is going to be an upward battle for them. But I feel like if any team can do it in the Super Rugby Aotearoa competition, it is the Blues with the form that they have had. The Blues have more possession and territory in the first half. Nine handling errors for the Hurricanes isn't flash, but 40 points is. And it's going to be very hard to catch those points up. But the Blues, they will want to win this one. If they can win this match, they would almost guarantee themselves a place in that Super Rugby Aotearoa 2021 final because of the fact that they are already on 15 points and they have already won a home game. That's a good tackle. Jamie Booth now is going to fire it back to Karefi. We've got to make sure that the Hurricanes don't score any points this half. If we want to make sure that we can win as the Blues. That's a good run from five for Feeder. Good offload as well. I'm up now finding a bit of space. Offloads to Scrafton. He's found a bit of a gap. It has gone to Artie Savio who is tackled by Peter Feeder, who's our fullback. So that is not a good sign. I see Mark Talera is running fast backwards. Pabali rips the ball away. Goes to Harry Plummer. Goes to Tuanoki Afi. Rico Ioani Robinson. Goes out to TJ Fayani now. Who is going to step on the inside. But he has been tackled by Geordie Barrett. But we have somehow kept that ball. Caleb Clark is next to the ruck. So we aren't going to be going to his side. We're going to go out to Mark Talera. One more to Harry Plummer. Who's going to score it for the Blues. And it only took them three and a half minutes. And the Blues have got their first try of the second half. And their first try of the match as well. And it was the replacement for Terry Black. It was Harry Plummer who was able to score that one. TJ Fayani getting close to the line. Tries to sidestep Geordie Barrett. They have done well to keep that ball. Caleb Clark, like I said, was standing next to the ruck. So that is why we went out to the right. Mark Talia went to Harry Plummer. Just enough pace to beat the Savia brothers. And we have scored a try for the Blues. Stephen Pirafetta now needs to get this kick. Oh, and tell you what, my timing for lineouts and also kicks... Just doesn't look like it's that great, unfortunately. But luckily that one has gone over and the score is now 10 points to the Blues, 40 to the Hurricanes. They need 30 more points. We need to score probably five more tries if we want a chance of this match, at least. That is assuming that the Hurricanes won't be scoring any points in this half, which might be tough to do, but Parsons has done very well to take that one. Laomape has had the ball ripped away from him. Oh, he ripped the ball away. Sorry, that was a forward pass from the Hurricanes. That's an interesting decision. I don't think we've seen a full pass in a while as well, but we will take it as the Blues. Hopefully we can win this one, and I'm thinking about using my set play um, try very early in this half just to give us that little bit more momentum. So we are going to be firing it wide to Mark Talia, and hopefully it will be able to work out. It's gone out to Mark Talia, who has stepped Julian Savio tried to step Geordie Barrett, but he has been tackled there. But we have protected the ball, and now with Geordie Barrett in the ruck, we are going to be firing it out to the left. Jonathan Ruru goes to DJ Fayani, back to Rico Ioani, goes to Caleb Clark, who tries to offload, has found DJ Fayani. But by the looks of it, Artie Savio will be able to get it. No, he hasn't. And now it is Jonathan Ruru, finds a bit of a gap, goes to Parsons. One more to Perifeta, fires it out to Harry Plummer, goes to Mark Talia, who's got a Rico Ioani on his outside. And he has found him now, Rico Ioani, he's stepped on the inside. He has got uh, Kerry Ioani next to him, but I wasn't willing to pass it because of the fact that offloads don't normally go that great to Anokiafi. Goes to Perifeta, out to Harry Plummer, drawing pass out to TJ Fayani, drawing pass out to Caleb Clark, who is going to be gone for the corner. And he has scored the try, Caleb Clark. And now 10 minutes gone, two tries down, and about four more to go for the Blues, but Caleb Clark has been able to score that one. I thought Geordie Barrett might have been able to cut him off there, but I wasn't willing to risk it by trying to step him. I decided I would just run it straight as Caleb Clark, and it did work out for us in the end. Harry Plummer goes to TJ Fayani. One more to Caleb Clark. Geordie Barrett was a little bit too deep in that situation, and that is why Caleb Clark was able to score. And now it is going to be Stephen Perifeta. He isn't normally the kicker. It's normally a Terry Black, so this is a hard kick for him in this situation. But I think I have still got that one as Perifeta. 15 minutes gone in this match. 
And we do still need quite a few points, 23 to be exact, to get back into this match. They are saying that I missed that kick, but luckily they were wrong. I was able to get it as Perifeta, and now it is Jackson Garden Bishop kicking off this one for the Hurricanes. And this match, it could be a game of two halves at this stage. The Hurricanes having a very good first half, but hopefully the Blues will be able to have a very good second. That's surely Artie Salvia's ball there. Or at least the Hurricanes, yes it is. They have done extremely well there. Now it is Lau Mape who goes to James Armstrong who hasn't offloaded him because of it. Tui Pelotu able to rip that one away. Goes to Caleb Clark. One more to Rico Ioani. He's found space now. He is going to step round Geordie Barrett. He isn't going to be able to get round Jamie Booth as well though. Princep able to rip that one away. Not giving away the penalty like I did in the first half. But Papali rips it straight back. Goes to Hoskins. Satudu out to DJ Fayani who just needs to find Mark Talia's hand. But for some reason he was running away from it. And the Hurricanes have now got this ball. Jamie Booth will be kicking this one I would have thought. But instead it is going to be a counter attack. Jordy Barrett breaking tackles for fun. But no one wanted to get in that ruck. I am button mashing at the moment. Tell you what, that's a good run from Via Fafita. But we have got this ball back to Anga Fussy. Goes to Rico Ioani out to Harry Plummer. He's got a mark to Lear outside him. I went a little bit early there. So to Lear had to step on the inside. And La Mape was able to make the tackle. Now it is Geordie Barrett who was going to kick it. And we have now got a scrum for us. <laughs> Tell you what, this game, you don't get much time for breathing, that's for sure. This game just has all out pace. All our action between these two sides. And I have a feeling if this was the final, we would get another match just like this. Flat out New Zealand rugby at its finest. But we have now got the scrum for the Blues. We need to win this one. We probably almost need a perfect push. That was a perfect push. We will take it. I'm going to go for the set play once again. It's going to be Caleb Clark out on that left wing. Are we going to be able to score it? It looks like it's going to be close for Caleb Clark. He is going to try and shunt through one. He is. Is he going to offload it to Akira Ioani? And he has managed to score the try for the Blues, Akira Ioani. And it was a very good support run from him. I thought Caleb Clark was going to be able to make it himself, but he was tackled back out of the end goal almost by Geordie Barrett. But luckily, Akira Ioani was lurking, and he's covered a lot of ground there, Akira Ioani. We've got to remember, he was part of the scrum. How quick is that man in the number six jersey? For the Blues, he has managed to break the tackle of Vince Arso as well and drive his way over the line. It is now Steven Perifeta once again with this kick. It is an important one like all of the kicks so far in this match and that one should be going over from him as well. It has gone straight down the middle and now the score is 24 to the Blues, 40 to the Hurricanes. We're slowly gaining but it still seems like we need a lot of points. And I have a feeling, was that the set play try? I have a feeling that it was. I've said I have a feeling as much as the Black Eyed Peas at the moment. Oh no, that's, I got a feeling. Nonetheless, it is a good kickoff from the Hurricanes and they are going to retain it. Oh, they know it was a Kiriwani who had it. Adi Savia has managed to keep that ball, or sorry, almost steal that ball for his team. It is going to be Jonathan Ruru now who goes back to Tui Polodu. One more to DJ Fayani out to Rico Ioani who actually had a mark to lay away behind him. But unfortunately, he was no use to us back there. Tuanuki Afi goes to Parsons, goes out to Perifeta, who hasn't managed to find anyone. And because of it, Wes Hooson's now got a good break. But Akira Ioani with a great tackle back to his feet. Almost able to rip the ball away. Jamie Booth now around the side, has offloaded it to Scrafton. Is this going to be a try for the Hurricanes that they need? Oh, Tui Pelotu rips it away straight away, though. Harry Plummer getting driven backwards in the tackle. We had a man teleported as well. And because of it, it might lead to the fact that the Hurricanes are going to get the ball. Yes, they have. And now it is fired out to Jordi Barrett, who has gone to Lau Mape. What a tackle on him by Parsons. You've got to go low on Lau Mape from there. It is going to be now Princep. No, sorry, it was Scrafton. That's a grubber from Jamie Booth. And that is a good take from Caleb Clark. They have got a lot of space in behind. So I'm going to be kicking this one 100% down the field. That's a great kick from Jonathan Ruru as well. Jordy Barrett wasn't back there, but Julian Savia has got this one in his hands. He has been tackled. Now it is Wes Hooson who's hit hard by Akira Ioani, who seems to be everywhere on the field. Wasn't quite able to rip that one away, though. And now it is Artie Savia goes back to Julian Savia, who was going to be kicking that one. And he doesn't normally kick very often. Julian Savia must have been feeling a little bit of the pressure there. Akira Ioani, I believe it was. No, it was Hoskins Satutu. Was trying to steal that one. Now it is Artie Savia who's trying to break a few tackles. Tuanga Fussy's ripped the ball away. TJ Fayani goes to Harry Plummer who tried to find Rico Ioani. He has found Mark Talia now though. Offload hasn't found anyone but Satutu has dove on that one. And kept the Hurricanes. Kept the Blues the ball I should say. And tell you what, Ruru could have picked that gap 
Nicely is he going to find... Oh, that was a soft pass. Unfortunately from Rico, Ioani's sentences aren't quite with me at the moment. But the, pressure, the, the pressure is on. Ruru goes to Perifetto. I'm just going back and forth at this stage. It is a wide ball to Mark Talia. And he is going to score the try for the Blues. I almost cut back too much there. But that is another try to the Blues now. This match is getting interesting. And Mark Talia, the winger for the Blues was able to score it. I'm going to lose my voice before the end of this match. I have a feeling I've already done quite a few recordings today, but Hoskins to Tutu goes to Tuanuki Afi. Ruru goes to Perafeta. DJ Fayani picking that gap nicely and found Mark Talia with the long pass. That was what we were lacking on the other side of the field, unfortunately, when we were trying to find Caleb Clark. But we had it that time, and because of it, the Blues are getting closer and closer to being back in this match. And Peter Feta has once again got that one down the middle. And now the score is 31 to the Blues, 40 to the Hurricanes. There are over 10 minutes left in this match at the moment. 12 minutes to be exact. Well, I guess if I was being exact, maybe 11 minutes and... Oh, it's changed now. But something in 30 seconds. But nonetheless, that is a short kick. And that was almost well taken by Artie Savia. And he is going to rip that one away in the breakdown. As he know, Jamie Booth has done it. If they can score now, the Hurricanes, they will win this match. But Satutu rips it away. It has gone to Dewey below to Harry Plummer. Fires it back to Caleb Clark. He's got enough base, has he? He's got a man on his outside as well. DJ Foyani has stepped round Jordy Barrett. But he had to step back on the inside to make sure he didn't go into touch. Jonathan Ruru goes to Dewey below to one more to Rico Ioani. Goes out to Mark Talia once again who's trying to carve a gap in Jamie Booth with the clothesline. And that makes things interesting. What to do here? That's the question. And I have a feeling... I think I've got to take the three. Being strategically, being strategically, being strategic. I have a feeling if he gets this kick, we will only be. Justin Marshall is asking a lot of questions. He's probably got the right to because of the fact that we did need more than seven points, but now we don't. It is 34 to 40. If we can convert our next try, if we do get our next try, we will be in the lead by one point. And that could be the difference in this match. So I feel like it was an interesting choice. But hopefully it will pay off. Akira Ioani has taken that one well. Laomapo makes the tackle on him though. And that's going to be the Hurricanes ball straight away. That is the only downside of my plan. Is the fact that now they have got the ball back. It is via Fafita who's breaking tackles flat out. But Harry Plummer wrestles him to the ground. Now it is Jamie Booth round the side. Who has offloaded it to Dane Coles. Who's breaking tackles. Satutu makes the tackle though. And... Oh, Tuanga Fussy almost able to rip it away. Jamie Booth now goes to Vaya Fafita. Great offload there, but Lao Mape is covered. Into Anoki Afi has ripped the ball away. It's gone out to Mark Talia. Can we score the try? It's going to be tough for him. He has tried to step inside ball to Tuanoki Afi, but he's not going to have the pace, unfortunately. As much as Big Carl would love to be able to run the length of the field to score, it's just not quite going to happen. But TJ Fayani going to Caleb Clark. He has shunted off one. He did an offload though. It was probably a good decision in the end. Tui Pelotu goes to Parsons. One more out to Perifetto. who was not quite able to hold that one, unfortunately. And this is a costly mistake for the Blues. Are we going to regret taking the three there? Unfortunately, one thing's for sure, and that is that we can't give away a penalty. And that's a good push from the Hurricanes. We need a perfect push here. I have a feeling that they... Oh, we did get it, but unfortunately they did too. Jonathan Ruru leaving very early there. Makes the tackle. Getting back to his feet. And he has won a not releasing penalty right from here. It is an interesting situation. What is the time in this match? We're going to have to kick for touch. We're going to have to do it quick as well as Peter Feta. Because of the fact that we want to make sure that we do win this line out. And if we don't, it could be very interesting. Because they will be kicking this one out. That's why we're going to do it as quick as we can. It is going to be James Parsons now with this line out throw. That one could be very good for the Blues. If it's not called straight. Oh, that's harsh. That's a harsh decision there against the Blues. And that could be the game. James Parsons not too sure about that one. I thought it was close enough. They will be going for the scrum here, I would say. No, they are going for the line out. That is risky stuff because of the fact that if we can steal this one, 
which I'm hoping we can. Tui Pelotu might be in the right place here. Oh, it hasn't gone that straight though. And now all of a sudden we're running out of time. We're going to get this ball very, very quickly. That is going to be the full-time siren. It is stalling. It's gone out to Julian Savio. It's tried to offload. They have dropped the ball there and that's going to be the game. And the Hurricanes win it in the last minute because of a dodgy decision. No, it was It was probably fair enough. It wasn't that straight. But nonetheless, we were so close as the Blues. We made a very big effort to get back into this match. And in the end, we just weren't quite able to, unfortunately. And the Hurricanes have been able to beat the Blues at home. And that is a very good win for them. They had the better first half. We had the better second. But in the end, we just weren't quite able to get that final try. That line out could have been so much different if I had thrown it straight. Maybe we could have scored off that one. I have a feeling we could have. But unfortunately for the Blues, just not quite their day there. The Hurricanes, those six tries. Garden Bishop, Savia, Asa and Wes Houston was able to get three for his hat trick. Jackson Garden Bishop, five kicks out of six. That was almost the difference in this match because of the fact that if we had scored one more try as the Blues and converted, we could have been winning by one point. But it was Akira Ioane, Caleb Clark, Mark Talia and Harry Plummer who scored the four tries for the Blues. Four from four for the conversions and two penalty goals in the end. But nonetheless, a very close match. Possession was in the Blues' favour. So was the territory. Tackles pretty even. Line breaks very even. And handling errors are high for both sides like they always are when I do play as both teams. But very close match. And that is the kind of match that I do want to see in the final as well. So maybe it will be between these two sides. And they will get a final rematch. But nonetheless, that's going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one.